Hello and welcome to Love and Soul, the program where we bring you amazing work and authentic hands-on practice. And in this episode, we'll be discussing the function of our three kinds of servo controller and help our listeners to select the most suitable one. Okay, you can see this is our three different kinds of servo controllers. And this one, we call a um, 16 channel servo controller because as its name implies, uh, this one only has 16 and channels 16 servo interface you can see the pin numbering starts from 0 and ends at uh, 15 you know this for this board it has doesn't have a buzzer doesn't have a low voltage alarm and uh, you can you cannot use handle to control this board you cannot use blue teeth to control this board as well as mp3 so and actually this board has a very reasonable price and high good quality and this is our um, 16 channel server controller okay and now uh, this one we call the 32 channel server controller as its name implies it has uh, 23 channels 23 server interface you know, it starts from zero and ends at uh, 31. Actually, this servo board mm, has almost the same functions as the another board. So if you know how to use any of them, you know how to use the another one. Um, but the only difference between them, between these two boards is that, you know, it only has six overcurrent protections. I mean, uh, for this board, 10 uh, servo interface to 15 servo interfaces have overcurrent protection so if you are using uh, servos i would recommend that you stick to this any of them these six pins because it's a much safer choice and now let's go to this 24 channel servo controllers okay and uh, you can see this is a very powerful server controller. I mean, it's full featured server controller. Look at here. This is our um, server interfaces. We have 24 server interfaces. And the biggest advantage of our uh, server controller is that every server interface has its own overcurrent protection. Yes, it's a much safer board actually. And now, uh, you know what? Uh, this is our wireless handle uh, interface. It, this is actually allow you to use our handle. Of course, you have to purchase from our companies, from our sell sellers, uh, so that you can uh, use handles to control servos, to control the robust movements. It's very convenient. And now uh, this one is our MP3 module interface. So you can um, purchase our customized module and then you can use um, blue teeth to control our ball, to control our robots. Okay, and now uh, this one is jumper cap and this is buzzer. I mean, if your battery is running now, maybe your battery is below, you know, 5 voltage, then this one, this buzzer will make sound of beep, sounds like D, D, to, to alarm you to change to charge your battery to replace your battery yeah this is the buzzer and this one is communication series of secondary development I mean our board support advancement de is a development so you can connect extra you know, single chip like uh, you know like those Arduino modules to our board so that you can achieve secondary development. It's very powerful, right? Okay, and this one, this white button is our offline run button. If you press this button once, just like this, you know, once, and then the number 100 action group will run one time. And this one is our USB port. You know, you can send instructions to our uh, server controllers via computer software uh, through this USB port. 
it's very convenient and this one is our switch you can turn on turn off and this one is power supply the range of voltage is 5 to 9 so please remember that and now that since you've got basic idea of our 24 channel server controllers in next episode i will show you our pc software